What started as a small tight-knit community's tribute to a fallen son has gained national significance. Governments can't create or build things like this. It comes from passion uh, and, the, and compassion. Um, and that was out there in, in bucket loads, so we harness that. It's been a labour of love for the younger borough community. This memorial, while significant in being the first Afghanistan memorial in Australia, is more significant because it is born from love. And both sides of politics have united in agreement. We will see our mission in Afghanistan through. That is for tomorrow. For today, we dedicate this place to the memory of those we have lost. I say to the families of the fallen, in whose hearts mingle grief and pride, you will never forget. We must never forget. The Avenue of Honour pays tribute to the undaunted spirit and is intended to be a place of reflection for anyone at any time. I think it's really tapped into a vein amongst Australians uh, who want to reach out and, uh, and are quite generous in doing so. Today marks the end of a significant week for the Chuck family. Just a few days ago they attended a ceremony in Sydney where their son's 2nd Commando Regiment was honoured for outstanding performance in Afghanistan, the first battle honour to be awarded to an Australian Army unit since the end of the Vietnam War. I guess it's a milestone, but closure for me, no, not yet. 39 names are included on the honour roll. Kirsty Nancaro, ABC News, Yungaburra.